Okie dokie. Who knows if we're alive? Only the internet can tell us. By everybody turning up and saying, You're alive! Which could be just YouTube lying to me. Pretending. And we've got a winner here. We've got Eric, first one to step in to the ring. Now oh, I'm still not quite ready. Or am I? Who knows? Oh well. Moco Loca. And, oh, Cormax here too. Alright. Um, A1466. Whoop de doo. Dead, apparently. So we'll just have a shot and see if we can get this thing to go. Um, hopefully. I like them when they're dead. Because when they're dead, they often are able to be revived. The problem ones are the ones that are not quite dead, or nearly dead, that sort of stuff. But they're not being, wow, that plastic was ripped clean off. But they're not being assertive enough, and so for you may not be able to get them to be assertive enough to come back to life. Hey, like this magnetizing, which is not working. Come on, there you go. That should work. Let's go to the overhead. Here we go. Oh, um, people, pen off. G'day. Mr. Kumar from India, fixing things for you on the other side of the continent. AJ Moran from Idaho, USA. Oh, wow. Can't recall the last person I saw from Idaho. And Mr. Bassnet. And Peter Beswick. And Ed. And Matthew Fox. And I think we've got more than enough crowd now. I think we can safely get on with the job. I'm sure it's likely not going to have my stream accosted by the likes of Mr. Rossman and his flying nerf darts. That's pretty lame, really. Nerf darts? Come on. You should at least use airsoft. I thought this was America that they were in. Alright. I suppose we should actually confirm that this is in fact dead. It is a 3437 board, so it's not going to be a MagSafe hiccup. Uh, for those of you just starting, make sure you always have a genuine Apple MagSafe 2, 85 watt. Because if you ever work on a 820-00165 MacBook Air A1466, if you do not have a genuine MagSafe, you will be tricked more than enough times. Okay, this is powering up. Although the screen is not energizing. So we've got power up. Oh, the fan actually stopped. And it starts again. Oh, oh wait, yeah, that's right. Screen has energized. I forgot about that. 3437 does that. Uh, the 165 does not. Let's plug MRI and see if that even comes up. A block two. Andy. Oh, you're driving. Ah, it's no good. Hey, Sonia. Whoops, I forgot to tell Sonia that I was online. I'm going to be in trouble now. So we've got a screen that's energized. We've got a fan that's spinning. CPU seems to be starting. We'll give it a little bit more. The MRI sometimes does take a while to come up. So for all intents and purposes, we should be expecting it to come to life, but it's not. It just really doesn't look like it's coming up. So we... Uh, what are our choices here? PCH, HSIO, 105 switch, um, clock or BIOS. I don't know. SMC maybe? Not likely. Well... I guess the way to answer all our questions is to take the board out and find out. Dinner time, yes. I've had my dinner. Tonight was a romantic getaway in our um, dining room with freshly prepared Pizza Hut and uh, classic traditional wings 
I don't know how they can call them traditional when they're only just turned up around here. And freshly squeezed from the bottle apple juice. Uh, pink lady apple juice. Surrounded by two cats begging like little dogs. Yep, that uh, made the dinner just ah, so great having cats sitting there looking at you saying, can we have some of that? You're eating it. We want it too. I said, like, no, 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 no. Then they get all pushy and then you still no, 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 no. And then they give you that shitty face. They're like, and their little tails are like that. And you know you're in trouble for the next couple of days. Um, for those of you, on a more serious note, for those of you who do know me and um, my cats and stuff like that, you'll know Micro, of course. Micro being the black and white cat on my picture with YouTube, the cat that captured Lewis for me. Dragged him in like a screaming rabbit. Um... We've been having a lot of medical troubles with Micro. He has not been well for going on nine months now. And oh no, I've left my... Jeez, I hope the T7 works. T7 will have to do. Uh, anyway, the other day he took a turn and uh, wouldn't eat, wouldn't drink, and he was a bit down on himself and stuff like that. So finally... We got him down to the vet because we sort of weighed it up and decided that at this point it was getting serious enough that we could we were going to risk the anxiety that taking him to the vet would cause because we knew that we would have to give him a blood test. So we got him down there, we got the blood test and thankfully it didn't come back with feline leukemia or feline AIDS and things like that but he is showing up as diabetic. So, yeah, now we've got to find out why that's happening. Just like, why is this board not... Look, there's no corrosion indications there. So I have to have a look at there. So on the one hand, it's a relief that it's not feline leukemia or feline AIDS, because that is... We were worried about that because the foster cat that we had, Halo, he was diagnosed with feline AIDS. We only find, found that out 14 months after we had him. Um, and we only found that out because he jumped over the fence, broke his canine tooth, his last canine tooth. He already lost the first one from a car accident. Um, he went in for surgery to get that fixed up, and that's when they found out he actually had feline AIDS, because we freaked out, because there were some minor inter interactions between Halo and the rest of them. So we were worried about a uh, disease transmission. Fortunately, that didn't happen, so... Thankfully that was good. But, um, yeah, so for now, we've been on pee duty for the last, I think, about 18 hours. Waiting for Micro, he's locked inside a portion of the house, waiting for him to pee so we can get a urine sample for glucose testing. And that little bastard is being a pee camel right now, and he's still not giving us anything, so it's fun and games. So, anyway, my wife's watching him now. Oh, we've got to get to some work done. But that's the next step. And why hasn't my... Oh, we're not doing this again, are we? Seriously? Why is it every time I go to stream... My... Compass thing decides that it's having a bad day. Looks like we're good again. Yeah, cat AIDS is really... It's bad. I mean, it's not fatal, but it certainly requires a strong de degree of um, management. And if you've got a contained household, yeah, the cats don't free roam, and they don't interact with cats from the outside, and things like that, so they're not going to pick up extra diseases, then yeah, you're 
uh, feline AIDS cat can have a comparatively normal life. But it's still not something you'd want if you can help it. Anyway, so yeah, we've got the diabetic situation to try and sort out now. Once we can find out what on earth, whether it's a symptom of something else or whether it's driving everything else. Because he just won't put on weight. And we have fed him a lot of food. At first we thought he might have been hypothyroidism, but it's not that. Uh, damn it, you lied to me. I thought you were a bit of junk. Backlight ball is okay. Uh, this is this better not be a bit depressing one. Where nothing seems to be at fault. The only thing we really got is that little weird thing there, but that's not going to cause it. It's didn't do anything, it just left a little smudge. Hey ZX! Let's see, AJ Murray, my little dog does exactly the same. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean that's just it, it's such a dog thing to do. Like Gustavo, what camera are you using to film the laptop? Uh, are you talking about the one through the microscope or the microscope camera, well actually all my cameras are on my repair page, repair items page. Is that a bit of junk in the HS? I'm kind of hoping that's junk. Is it? Is it? Is it? Or is it just a green? There's a bit of green there, but I think that's the thread. Yeah, that was just the thread. I'm curious to see what Panov thinks. Uh, Q's basically cat AIDS is the same in principle as um, human um, AIDS in that you have a basically you don't have an immune response and so your body will get wrecked by what would otherwise be comparatively benign issues like a cold or a little bit of an infection but um, because you don't have an immune response or it's comparatively suppressed then it can be quite dangerous just using a dry toothbrush to brush away the extra hairs there Hey B. McGuire, Canada, Vancouver. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Jacob. Hey Aaron. Uh, DC inboard, do you think, Aaron? It'd be a laugh if that's it. I mean, everything's coming up okay. I mean, it's even energizing the screen and all, but it's just not coming to life. But you reckon maybe DC inboard? I'm willing to have a shot at that. I'll just finish looking over this. Uh, see if I can see anything blatant. Wait, there we go. Corrosion on there, which, let me check that flex. That's a good turn off. I'm not really forcing you to have to do my work for me. It's just I know you like to take what symptoms you can find and see if you can predict it ahead of time because I know it's an enjoyable challenge for you. Okay, so we do have this. But it's kind of like, well, what's that going to do? It's not really causing any, unless it's gone through. Have you gone through the connector? No. It hasn't even gone through. But now I messed up all the legs.
Do you think it was introduced to cull the cat population, Roy? I don't think so, no. It's something that probably just emerged from the strays. Um, there are other probably more effective methods if people wanted to introduce stuff like that. One that's emerging at the moment is um, feline parvo, and that is not, like with dog parvo, that is not a pretty disease at all. And that is beginning to emerge again. Um, back in the 70s and 80s, it was very prevalent, prevalent, and then it died out. But it looks like as humans are building more into the bush again, it's making a comeback as domestic cats interact with the um, what do you call it? With the strays and the wild and the feral cats, things like that. So that is going to become a problem and at some point you'll find that uh, at least in this region there's going to be a vaccination program set up to deal with it. Um, I wonder if it was SMC lid or something. That could have caused it. Hey, Flakik. My neighbor's lady's my neighbor lady's cat passed away, and I came across a black kitten. Oh, right. So you gave it to her. That's always a tricky thing. You're giving people a, another cat. Uh, personally, I find it quite difficult. When I lost. When I lost my DC inboard. When I lost uh, Jinx due to a car accident about um, uh, eight years ago now, almost. We, yeah, there was just no way I was looking for uh, another cat at that time. I just sort of wanted to you know, deal with it and it took me a very long time to deal with that. But as it was, the universe had other plans and it did force me. Well, that's how we end up with micro. So, yeah, it's, it's still a tough, tough call. Some people do need, well, most people do need a certain degree of time to mourn the loss. I mean, it is a distraction, so that sometimes it can sort of like dilute the pain, but you still end up having to process it fully. Just it takes somewhat more time. I'm just going to plug this in and see if we get any activity on our solid state drive here. We're going to look for some green flashes on there. So we've got green flashes, so we're active. Alright. Uh, maybe it was just the DC inboard, in which case, that's amusing. I'm kind of disappointed, if it is. Well, it's definitely active. Or, well, like I said, it could be something wrong with the... Yeah, well, it could be the DC inboard again. I'll have a look at that. I'm just going to take it out. The... What do you call it? Come on, Paul. Think, think. Friday night brain. Pizza's gone to the brain. Uh, the lid sensor. That's what I'm trying to think. Then again, doesn't that come through the keyboard? I'm pretty sure that does. It doesn't actually come off the DC inboard. But I'm going to have a look at the DC inboard regardless. I'm just trying to pull it out. Twenty years. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah, so now I would like my cats to live to that sort of time, which is why I was particularly cut up with Jinx. Because um, we got him and he was a bit of a he was a tabby, just nothing special. Just tabby. And he was a bit of a <laughs> oh yeah, no no, lid does come in through here. He was a very difficult cat. 
for us. Uh, he was prone to attacking you, and he was angry, and all that sort of stuff. And come about eight years, or shortly before his death, he really became an excellent cat. You know, he calmed down. He was nice. He would love to go on, you know, resting on my shoulder. And we'd walk around the house and he'd point out where the geckos were running around and uh, mocking me. So it was really good. And then, yeah, unfortunately, we just lost him. So it hurt bec a lot, too, because of the fact that we went through all that work with him to make him feel like, you know, to make him come out of his angriness only to lose him like that. And then, of course, you can say, well... Uh, you got micro because of that and it's like it's true it just sucks that you have to lose so much to gain another thing you know why not just have them both now I wonder if something's wrong with the lid sensor on that my name my cat's name is Dolly Hop you have a good day oh thank you Freddy to Midi Dolly Hop that's an interesting one The SSC adapter that you got, how good are those? You had any fell... I don't know what you, I know what you mean when you fell. Um, anyway, the... Oh, you're talking about um, this one. Yeah, well, you're talking about these USB ones. I had a lot of trouble with these ones. If it comes off eBay, it's almost guaranteed it's going to be complete and utter crap. I ended up buying off um a local store in Australia called M Wave and they were fine. But the ones off eBay, I think I bought about four or five of them, they were all junk. They would connect, uh show up and stuff like that, but then once you start pumping the data transfers, they would just drop off and die, disconnect, errors all sorts of things so uh, uh, you go over the top get in there this is being a little more problematic than I like <sighs> wonder why cats get like that some of them my friends cat you look at the wrong way past her. yeah exactly yeah. some of them just do that I think they've had a, a rough start to their lives and that rough start can usually is within the first eight weeks of their life. Something happens and they really just turn ugly like that. Because it could be genetics too. You know, some cat, some genetics just don't work with humans. So I saw a study, or I don't know if it was a study or just a live report or whatever, of some fellow who was trying to produce domesticated foxes as an experiment. And instead of... What he would do was select them based on you know, their niceness criterion or whatever, you know, how likely they're not to bite you or whatever... And it was interesting because the traits that emerged physically were the ones that made the foxes cuter to humans. So it's when you look at a cute little animal, maybe it's because it actually has a cute personality that works with humans. Maybe. It's not a guarantee. But it was an interesting study. At least a preliminary thing. I guess a little bit tricky with those sort of studies because that's you know a couple of decades of hard work to <laughs> get to that point, and then at that stage you still basically only have a hypothesis, and then you got to do it all again under stricter controls. Hey Bob, Bob, uh, Matthew Chuck, yeah, well yeah we're getting started. Let's see if we can get this MRI working now with a new DCM board. If this is a DCM board, then that's yeah, it's going to be boring. I'm not going to be able to charge full rate for that. It's going to suck. 
Hello, Inspiroti, Rotori, Rotori, yes, from Finland, and Nick Basie from the UK. Uh, are you guys in or out of the European Union or what? Make up your mind. Seems like you're better off just staying in it. Yeah, oh, but, but, but I don't know. I mean, it's like, is it? I just don't know. Uh, Brian, I was just talking to um, Justin tonight about that. Um, I was actually more just catching up with him to seeing how he was going with all the new fame and excitement. Interesting, it's like we don't have a display output here. Do we just not have backlight? Could it be that simple? Well, it would help if I could actually keep my MagSafe connected. Try that again. I wonder if it's just a backlight. But yeah, I was talking to Justin about the battery scandal thing. I'm sure he's going to have heaps and heaps and heaps of people talking to him now. He's probably going to regret ever bringing that out to public. But uh, I'm sure... Well, actually, I'd, I'm not sure about these things. Um, maybe Apple's going to, at some point, retract the whole situation or say, oops, sorry, we didn't mean to activate that. Apple does like to test the waters on these things quite frequently. I don't know what this is doing. Since the 3437, the MRI should come up. Oh, okay, it was a Russian guy. Okay, thanks, AJ Moran. We voted to get out of the EU, but our government is incompetent and keeps stalling. Yeah, which makes me think you probably shouldn't leave the EU because you need some adults to try and manage what the hell you guys are doing. You're not the rulers of the world anymore. Now, this one's actually got me stumped a bit. It doesn't seem like it's a backlight issue. But maybe it is. Uh, well, one way to find out. Oh, it's actually stopped now. No, it's start. <coughs> wonder if this is going to be one of those ultrasonic ones. Hey, Coburn. What about Scotland? Aren't they supposed to be getting their independence or are they chicken out on that too? It's The other problem is it's just very difficult to be an independent country anymore. Unless you're basically China. Or don't care. Alright. I'm just going to put this over the edge. Oops, see if I can measure the backlight voltage. You're not going to be able to see much of this. Even more fun, I'm not even going to be able to... I can't remember which my... Wait, I should be ashamed of myself. I know what my backlight voltage thing is. Good. We'll just disconnect that, flip up the screen, plug the screen back in, we're already on voltage mode, let's see if I can, 
Good old gut view. Uh, faulty display, that's another possible, yeah. Oops. Faulty multimeter now because I just smashed. Oh, you're kidding me, man. Come on. There we go. Sometimes I don't know which way my which way my thingy goes. Okay. Yeah, we've got backlight, 25 volts. It's no, it's not super high, but it seems like it's reasonable. Uh, gonna be something dumb like contrasted. EDP must be running. The B4 STL. We have a collab with Lenice Tech Tips, like fixing the VR virtual reality ass. Oh, no, probably not. Uh, there's the main problem with me doing collaborations with anybody is the fact that I live in remote Australia. Like, I'm not talking remote outback New South Wales or, you know, two or three hours from Sydney or any inconvenience like that. I'm talking about the fact that I'm still a good 1,500 kilometres north of the nearest major capital city, which is Brisbane. Oh, I hate that. What is it that causes... Uh, man. Uh, anyone who's worked on printers, serial ports, things like that in the past. What is it that causes you to get that drill-like electric shock? No, the really fine pin-like uh, drill going through your flesh um, because of the electricity, the ground differentials or something like that. Uh, get it off the cases of these two. Uh, all right, so is this? Do we have just a dead screen? Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess I'll put it in another chassis and see. Maybe the contrast is set really dark. Yeah, well, I was actually thinking that. <laughs> and right now, that could be entirely plausible. It could be something really obvious, something that someone who does this more than me will be laughing their heads off right now and going, "You idiot." It's something that's this. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Okay. Is there liquid damage? Let's go and check the screen connector. Just in case. Hey, Sully Channel. And here we go. Ask Ask Diatom from Dalian, China. Well, at least I know China. Probably the first person that has um, openly said that they're from China in chat that I'm aware of. Welcome. There's a bit of goop down in there. And no, that's right. So yeah, maybe we do have a dead screen. Although, like I said, it's energizing. I don't know if that is the correct term, but basically meaning it goes from where it's got this greenish tinge that you can see, and it goes black. And so once it does that, as far as I'm concerned, then the system knows that the screen is there and it's trying to drive the screen and the CPU should be alive so when nothing shows up you really do start to wonder so yeah certainly if you've come across this problem before try and catch my attention in chat did you try a reset? no I didn't actually pan off I didn't I wasn't aware that Pram parameter RAM could cause that. Again, this is an experience thing. Well, sorry, I've just got news that came through. Oh, 
I gotta go. The cat has peed. I'll catch up with you all later. Here's a bit.